Guys, this is the world's smallest semi truck. Now we don't call them semi trucks in the UK, we call them lorries, or some people refer to them as a tractor and a trailer. I mean, we don't pronounce it semi anyway, we pronounce it semi, of course, because, well, we're British. Thank you, fat bloke. <laughs> Anyway, this is the C50 from Turbo Racing. Fully functional. It's got, I think about 10, yeah, 10 channels. <laughs> Loads of stuff there. Should be able to pause that if you want to look at all the details. But we will go through them. It comes in two different colors. This one is the red and black one. I think I've got the blue and white one on the way as well. And it is 176 scale, smaller than a Hot Wheels. It is that scale. That's also a Turbo Racing as is that one. And talking of being British, if I had started this video and said, this is the smallest semi I've ever seen, <laughs> there'd be lots of, that's what she said in the comments. So if you hear me say lorry, it's because that's what we call it. Oh, hang on, no, this is the what, what? Hang on a minute. I might have two white ones coming then. No, I've just checked, it's the black one I got coming and this is the white one. So it comes, you have to assemble, it looks like, just all clips in place though. We'll have to have a look. There's nothing else in there. So that's your trailer sides, instructions of all your functions. I'm gonna have to have a quick read of that, especially that bit, because that'll probably tell me about all the lights and stuff. Shows you, you can have it four different ways without the trailer, just with a flatbed trailer, like some sides up on it or the full trailer. Yeah, just clips together. And then a little brochure with extras. I said on the last turbo racing video I wanted a drift one so I've got a drift one. There'll be a video coming soon. Wow. <laughs> look at that. That looks so cool. That's probably a pretty good scale. There's the little trailer. The little trailer's got a battery on it. It's not driven though. Talking of batteries. Comes with a USB-C. Let me go and plug this in while we look at the rest of the stuff. Looks like some chrome for your mirrors. Is that a magnet? Did show something there. And there's your transmitter. It's a nice transmitter, that. Not just channel one and two either. Look, there, uh, there's four channels there. I guess trim switches, three position switch there, three position switch there. There are your reverse ones. And also some buttons on there. Wow, there's a lot there. I definitely need to read the instructions. We'll build this and then we'll wait for it all to charge and we'll give it a go. I think that's probably just to add a bit of ballast to this and it's gonna go at the front, isn't it? Because you've got this weight at the back, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> I was gonna say, this clips together nice and easy. But I can't get this top on. You need to put a little bit of pressure on the side when you uh, Push down. We got some doors. After all that, I did actually put it on the wrong way. Ugh. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna turn the camera off and we'll come back when it's all ready to go. Right, trailer's done. You have to be really careful with it because as soon as you put any pressure on it, I broke some of the clips on there, but I've kind of stuck it down and I couldn't get it to sit on there without coming loose. I put a little bit of tack under there just to hold it on, but that's all done. I just had a quick look at the controls to work out what they all were, this thing is insane. Well, I say insane, it's insane for the size of it. So it's got all working lights. So you've got just normal headlights and they go a bit brighter. Then you've got center ones there. Then you've got a top one, push sideways on that channel. You can change the color. So green to blue to white uh, to red and then back to green. <laughs> it's so cool. Press it again, if you look in the cab, if I press it again, Look, cab lights as well. And there's a little driver in there as well. This thing is so cool for the size. Rear lights as well on there. And that's not the best thing. Those who watch the channel will know what my pet hate is with scale rigs. It's indicators or turn signals, whatever you call them. So this has got them, but if you turn normally, they don't come on. If you turn down at an angle like that, Come on, look, there's sound. But also, they're on a switch. An actual switch for indicators. Now, all the other scale manufacturers out there, put your indicators on a switch and we'll all be happy. So that's all the light functions. You can turn the sound on or off with that. It's on at the moment. Obviously, you've got a turn signal sound and you've also got reverse. Doesn't do anything when it's going forwards, but in reverse. <laughs> I love this thing. Fully proportional. 
You've got three speeds. It's in the lowest speed at the moment. Switch there. Then this is medium speed. And then high speed. <laughs> oh man, right. Needs to hook the trailer up. The trailer has got lights on it and I think it's got a lift as well. It's got a stand. <laughs> it's done on the transmitter, that's cool. I think it's got lights as well. Is it that one? Yeah, there you go, look. What? Turbo Racing have knocked it out of the park on this. Right, let's test my skills. Let's raise the trailer. And then... Come on. Oh, I thought I got that straight away then. I thought I'd nailed that. Have I? Nope, <laughs> failed. Come on. Well, it's definitely lined up. I wonder if there's a, hang on. Let's go in dead straight. Is there something on this that I have to do? Let's have a look. Headlight switch, trailer lifting sound, tail light trailer switch, turn signals. Oh, there's a horn as well. <laughs> nice. No, did it just? Ah, there we go. It's in, right, hang on. Put it down. Have I got it? Yeah. I haven't got any 176 cones. I've only got these giant ones, bigger than the car. So let's do a little maneuver here. Um, excuse the mess of my carpet. Oh, I need to either clean it or get a new one, don't I? Look at the state of it. Anyway, let's come out of here. I'm gonna go up round here and see, I don't know whether it'll go through there, round, and then reverse. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right. All the way around. Oh, it's a tight circle that. Oh, I'm going to have to reverse. Round this cane. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hang on. Right, right. Trying to get to grips with the controls. It's a stick controller, obviously. I'm not used to that. There we go. That's my excuse. I'm sure this is easier with a real truck. I don't remember reversing trailers being this difficult. Right. <laughs> oh, I nearly had it then. I think we got it this time, though. Yeah, I'm having that. I'm having that. That is so cool. So I've just been playing about with this for ages. I think the problem for reversing is there's not enough um, steering angle. It doesn't, it doesn't quite have enough of that um, steering angle to be able to properly throw it around. So when you get it, obviously I'm making excuses because how bad I am, but when you get in a situation like that, it doesn't have enough steering on it for you to kind of bring it around straight again or to even just like pull forward a little bit to correct it. So not a massive issue because it's just so cool, but let me see if I can show you. I mean, it might have been because it was on carpet, but it just, for me, yeah, like that, see? When you're in like sort of that situation, you really need to go like full, full lock to go back slowly, which generally, will bring it round, but in this case, it doesn't. Just keeps going around in a circle. Anyway, this thing is super cool. 
And I reckon, now they brought this out, you can get all the different cars, there's little crawlers, not from turbo racing, but there's all stuff this scale that's radio control. That is going to open up so much for like a diorama and have like roads and you can load your lorries up. This back will come off. I mean, I mean, this does open up so you can put stuff in there. But you've got these that clip on. I think they go, they go that way. And then, <laughs> look at that. I didn't realise that the cars went on there. I thought it was like a logging truck. What they need is like a double stacked one. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh man. Yes. That looks so cool. Well, I think I've said, wow, this is so cool enough times for you to get an idea of what I think of this. Definitely the best release so far from Turbo Racing, probably other than the minis that they first released because that kind of kicked everything off. Scale accessories, different trailers, different colored trucks on a big like scale course and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Links in the description now. I'm doing a Christmas prize bundle soon. At the moment, the prize bundle is five one tenth on road cars. I'll be putting one of these in the Christmas bundle. So if you're not interested in one tenth on road, you can still go on there and follow me and look out for future competitions. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time. Benito.